Hi friends, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to talk about the java.util.stream. So this is one of the uh, you know very famous feature which is added in uh, Java 8, and uh, this is very useful when you have a, like a list of data and you want to filter the data. This is a very handy uh, feature that that is there in the Java 8. So as you can see, this is from the Oracle site only. So uh, if you can see this site, they are talking about the stream. So they are saying that a stream, it's no storage. A stream is not a data structure that stores elements. Instead, it conveys elements from source, such as a data structure, an array, a generator function, or IO channel through a pipeline of computational operations so the main thing is that it's not a data structure it does not like hold data actually uh, so functional in nature an operation on stream produces a result but does not modify its source for example uh, if we are filtering a list then it will not modify the original list but it will still give us the filtered result so that's what they are saying uh, the, uh, that is the main thing and it also provides a uh, parallelism so uh, as we can use a stream uh, we can also use a parallel stream function instead of stream if we want to achieve parallelism so uh, I actually wanted to demonstrate the stream of Java 8 and how we can use this stream to filter the data so for the for this purpose i created a employee which is a custom uh, you know custom class with four fields it has a id first name last name and salary field and it has getters and setters and uh, it also has a implemented hash code and equals method so uh, we are actually going to be like uh, so here i created six employee objects uh, and uh, you know couple of employees like as you can see e1 this employee e1 then employee e5 then employee e6 here they have the same first name here um, and uh, uh, you know i am adding all these employees into a list and i want to show you how to filter this list based on certain criteria using this stream so uh, the first one uh, first a filter example we are going to see here is we are going to filter this uh, list of streams using the first name so here you can just say list dot stream function and you can just say dot filter and here we have to pass the lambda expression how we want to filter that stream so I am just saying e and uh, e dot first name equals Nitin and we are going to collect the result of the of the filtering in the co using collectors dot to list so we will get another list here of the filtered employees so let me just run the first example here and i'll show you that we get the list of employees with a first name as a nitin so this this is our first uh, filter you know so you can see that we got all the employees so one two and three so this is what we are expecting because we have three employees in the list with the first name as Nathan. So, uh, so let's uh, talk about another example uh, where we actually want to filter the employees based on a salary. So here uh, I am going to filter the list. Here I am going to here I am going to filter the list. I want to get all the employees whose salary is greater than sixty thousand dollars or so um, so let's just execute this second example so i should get all the employees with salary greater than sixty thousand dollars so in this list of employees we have only one employee which is eighty thousand all the remaining are less than sixty thousand like you can say ten thousand twenty thousand forty thousand forty four thousand and twenty four thousand so only one employee we can expect in the second filter filtering result so let's just run it so we got the first employee its sal its salary is 80000 so that's what it returned so uh, the last example i want to demonstrate for for filtering is uh, based on a, a 
more than one field so we want to get the filtered employees wh whose name starts with nitin and whose salary is greater than 40000 so if you see here so this this is the first employee whose first name is nitin and salary is 80000 and this is the second employee whose first name is uh, nitin and his last uh, his salary is 44000 for this employee his salary is 24000 which is less than 40000 so we will not get that in the filter result so we can expect that employee 1 and employee 5 so two employees we should get when we are going to filter the result using this uh, stream filter so let's let's just quickly run this and uh, make sure that we get the correct result after filtering so as you see we got two employees so number one it has a 80000 sal uh, salary and number five which has 44000 which is more than 40000 so um, uh, just to make sure now if we modify this 40000 and if, if we say 20000 then in that case the last employee also will come because it is more than it's 24000 is your salary and more than 20000 so let's just quickly uh, run this and make sure that we get the three employees so as you can see here you we got all the three employees here so whenever like uh, our service layer in our implementation give us list of objects let's say for example list of employee here and we want to do quick filtering based on couple of criteria as then the stream of java 8 is very handy we can use the streams filter function and we can just pass the criteria here as a lambda expression and we can get the uh, filtered uh, results so i just uh, wanted to demonstrate this java streams filtering capability so thanks for watching the video if you like it and if it is helpful to you please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the like button and uh, also click on the notification bell icon thanks